Hi, I'm Elizabeth Sinalovich, Director of Operations with Forest Ontario, and I'm here with Fraser Smith, a registered professional forester, and he's going to help me provide a brief history of forests in southern Ontario, what afforestation is, and the importance of plantation management in order to convert plantations into a mixed diverse forest in the future. So here we are on a site, a private land planting, that was planted through the 50 million tree planting program. It's just one hour outside of the City of Toronto. Fraser, can you tell me a little bit about the site and what the landowner objectives were? Absolutely. So, like you said, uh, plantation established through afforestation or the creation of forests on abandoned farm fields primarily. On the site, the landowner really wanted to increase forest cover on the land base more generally, but also to create a nice healthy forest for themselves and for their children. Primarily what we did was put in red pine on the site. We're on the Oak Ridges Moraine. We have deep, dry, well-drained, highly erosion-prone soils. Archival photos from well into the 20th century show how this area on top of the Oak Ridges Moraine was heavily degraded through destructive farming practices and needed to be replanted with trees in order to stabilize that soil and to restore wildlife habitat through thriving forests across the landscapes. And red pine is a perfect species for that. It's great at getting established very, very well in trying conditions. I mean, as you can see, they've got fantastic growth. This was this year and they're really thriving on this site because it's very, very well adapted to this area. So today we're gonna to go through a plantation and also various sites that have been managed through the different years and sort of showing that plantation conversion into a mixed forest. Yeah, so I mean, the idea is to basically use four different sites as stops in time to look at different stages of a plantation's life over the decades from plantation establishment through afforestation initiatives like this, through some management of some thinning and seeing what that results in. And then finally showing a forest where you have a healthy and diverse forest growing up underneath, which is actually the future forest that we manage plantations for. With careful management and with the help of a professional forester, landowners can basically ensure that they get that healthy future forest in as little of a time as possible. So here we're at a second site, which is a pine plantation that's about 35 years old. Fraser, can you tell me a little bit about what happened here? Yeah, so this stand that we're in right now is essentially what our first site is going to look like in about 35 years, as you said. Um, the key here is that plantations need to be managed and they get managed through thinning. This site, with the exact same species, it's red pine, it's pretty much the exact same spacing at about six feet between the rows. But what we've done here with the management and thinning is to open up the canopy just the right amount to allow regeneration to establish. You can see at our feet, we have two little baby oaks that have just started, probably within the last year on that one and about three years ago on that one. And this is the type of regeneration of desired species that is seeding in from the surrounding stand without any kind of replanting underneath. So now we're at our third site and it looks like a much older pine plantation. Can you let me know what happened here? So the site was planted in 1959. Again, pure red pine, much the same spacing as everything that we've seen so far. But this site has had the first row thinning of management and then three successive thinnings after that where they're going for the smaller stems. You can see that the regeneration in here is really coming in and that really adds to the value for the site. So what are the benefits for managing this forest? I mean, the benefits are myriad. We've got an incredibly beautiful, you know, tall pine stand, but there's also the recreational values. We're on a recreational trail right now. Also mast species, so those trees that will produce nuts or berries that are super important for wildlife. There's a massive amount of carbon that's being stored in the stand right now. And pretty much it's close to that point where we can start to do one or two more thinnings and then this stand will no longer be managed as a plantation, but as a natural forest. So we're here at our last site and it looks like a very healthy, mixed, diverse forest. Can you let me know what we're seeing here? Yeah, so this is a plantation planted with red pine, same spacing as all the other sites. And it's been managed consistently through thinning. There's been the row removal. There's been several between row removals. It's about 70 years old. 
And like you said, it's a healthy mixed forest. A lot of the members of the public walking through here would have no idea that this was ever a plantation and that this forest hadn't in fact been here forever. Um, you can hear the different birds in this area. You can see a lot more wildlife. You can see the mixture of trees from maples to oaks. And this is what we're aiming for. This is why we do plantations the way that we do and why we manage them through good forest management practices the way that we do, to get this end result, to create forests for the future in a relatively short period of time. Well, thank you, Fraser, for taking us on this tour from afforestation all the way to this healthy mixed forest. And if landowners are interested in our planting programs or forest management, they can contact us at forestontario.ca.